Hey guys, this is Becca. This is video 25 of 2018. I have not exactly been looking forward to making this video. Um, the last two weeks have been very, very bad for me drawing wise. Uh, and by that I mean I haven't been drawing very much and I've been really dreading drawing, which is not normal for me. Like, okay, yes, I don't love to wake up super early and draw, but this is more like really don't want to draw. So uh, I'm trying to figure out, I've been thinking about it and trying to figure out why that's happening. Um, obviously we all know that, that learning anything is hard. So I'm not here to, you know, complain, I guess. I've chosen this path, but I think I'm more here to maybe ask for your advice and get some feedback about uh, what steps might be good for me at this point. So I've known for a long time since I started drawing that, or at least started, took my first painting class that I didn't really want to be a fine artist. And by that I mean, I didn't want to be an easel painter or somebody who displayed their work in, you know, like a fancy gallery or something like that. That didn't really appeal to me. But obviously that leaves a whole lot of other options. And I think up until this point, I've been really kind of treating this as, I guess, a hobby that kind of informs the work that I do now. So I do illustration now, but it's more, I guess, graphic design style illustration, so vector illustration. But the truth is I want, I want to do this all the time. Like I want to be, use this kind of skills that the skills that I'm learning in my profession. And that is really scary <laughs> um, to actually admit that and say, okay, this isn't just like something for fun. I want this to be something more than that. And I think there's a large part of me that knows that I could just keep kind of grinding away and be very, very technically skilled and not actually do what I deeply want to do, which is creative work. Not to say that gallery work isn't creative work, but what I mean more is imaginative work. Uh, and I've been putting it off for a long time, obviously. I've been, for me, it's, I know this isn't probably the standard for most artist types, but for me, it's actually a lot easier just to grind away at fundamentals and do exercises and stay really technical and academic with it. I feel like a lot of artists, you know, people make comments like, oh, wow, you work so hard, you're so committed. But for me, that's kind of the easy part. The hard part is taking the time and energy and bravery, I guess, that it takes to actually put something out there that's your own creation. So that has, that's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to think about and it's a lot to kind of confront, I think, at this point. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do now because I'm, on the one hand, totally freaked out of trying to do anything creative, do my own projects. On the other hand, I just know that if I keep going on the path that I'm going, it's not really ultimately going to take me to where I want to be. So I don't believe that I should stop training, I guess, in the way that I don't believe I should stop keep uh, improving my technical and fundamental skills. I should definitely learn anatomy. I should definitely learn more about perspective. Obviously, that's all kind of in the long term strategy for me. But I think I've been at this for long enough that I kind of have to somehow force myself to do some creative projects. Oh, I didn't plan any of this, so I hope this is making sense. If you guys have any ideas or any thoughts, I would love to hear them. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not here to sort of like cry to y'all. <laughs> I don't really feel like that's what I, I wanted this video to be. I'm just sort of kind of trying to figure out what to do next and how to, how to engage my more creative side, I guess. So if you, if you have anything that's worked for you, classes or just personal techniques or projects or whatever, um, please let me know. I would love to hear uh, how you've gotten yourself moving in that direction. So that's it. <laughs> uh, there are some drawings, they're measurement focused. I did not enjoy them, but it, it might have been my mindset at the time. So. Take that with a grain of salt. Anyway, onto the drawings. <laughs> 